Hello, and this is a bit more on the tour of the uh, personal residence of the Monica Vertawil. So this is a little outside garden area that you can see here. And if you look, um, it actually comes off the, um, the area that I showed you early on, the um, sort of um, lounge area. Uh, that I had showed you. So when you come out here, you've got an outdoor um, sort of garden space, which is again, one of the relaxing areas of the um, residence. I've got um, an open roof here, as you can see. So this allows a lot of cool air to come down, which is essential uh, for living life in the heat. And as you go down this corridor here, you've got glass panels at the side, which have a really good vantage point over all the other um, areas so you can see around which i'll be showing you in more detail shortly when we do the big unveiling but at the moment um yeah it's just to focus on this we've got a lot of um flora around to create some moist air and a sort of oasis feel of the place because uh, it was pretty essential for life in the heat to have all this around uh, this is one of my favorite areas especially um, at night time because it's just lovely especially when you see get to see the stars in the sky at night and feel the cool air come in. So this is one of the joys that I have um, working on the Vertawil project, is that environmentally, although it initially starts out as a harsh uh, desert landscape, once you're actually able to work with it and build something in the area, you know, the heat and you know the beauty of the landscape, you just use to your advantage and it becomes a joy and a privilege to um, undergo this work. So again, this is um, one of the places that I do spend a lot of time um, when I'm doing both my official duties and also um, privately when I'm relaxing in what time I do get to relax. So um, thank you and you stay tuned for more of the Grand Tour.